The SEMrush Market Explorer feature is great for anyone who's entering a new niche and wants to learn more about what's going on in that market, what keywords uh, people are actively advertising on, all that sort of stuff, right? So if you don't already have a SEMrush account, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up for a free trial and test all these features out. But once you're signed into your account, you'll want to come to the Trends section down here and click this little drop down and then you'll see the Market Explorer option here. From here you can start entering domain names in and you'll, you can click here if it shows up already but you'll want to click enter after typing a domain name in so if you just type it in you can click enter and that'll add it to the list. But after you add it, add in all the domains here that you want with a total of a uh, maximum of a hundred domains possible click create and analyze and that's going to create a market explorer list with the domains that you've chosen so these are the three that we've chosen here Best Buy, New Egg, and Office Depot from here it's going to give us a breakdown of how difficult this market is going to be to enter so there's you know typically one large player that's owning this niche that's what it's saying right here, which is Best Buy. So it's taking up 83% of the market share, which is great to be able to see that right off the hop is just knowing which company has what percentage of the market share. So you know who the top competitor is, the second competitor, etc., etc. Obviously, we have a breakdown of the domains, total market traffic, and the market traffic cost. This is just an estimate. I don't know how... Uh, accurate this is in every single niche but it'll just kind of give you an idea of where things are as well as the market size and then when we come down here we've got a breakdown of the uh, competitors in this market so the game changers the niche players established players leaders Best Buy is obviously the leader in this niche Newegg is next and then Office Depot is making a come up and then we have the main keywords to look at in this niche look at uh, targeting like monitor gaming chair desktop computer external hard drive so these are some of the top keywords that these companies are marketing on in this niche which is great to be able to just see this at a glance of course you can export this if you want to get more in depth into things and then we've got a breakdown of domain versus market dynamics and we can see here that uh, Best Buy is eating up most of the market share, 83%. And comparatively, it's trending, uh, uh, you know, at, at about 83% here. So we can see how that trends over time. And also see the breakdown of traffic with Best Buy versus the whole market. So we can see it's mostly direct, with a little bit of referral, and then some organic as well as well as the actual audience. So this is really helpful to be able to know in this market what sort of age demographics are you know, being advertised to. So if you're going to write a blog post, you're going to want to focus on talking to people in these ages, these age ranges, because that's a majority of the, the target market. And it's a pretty even split between male and female, maybe a little bit more on male on this side. But of course, yours is going to be completely different depending on which domains you enter in here and then we can see the market um, geo distribution here even a nice little graph of the breakdown and then a graph of the market traffic here so that's basically it I mean there are other things you can dive into in here which uh, there's a million different features in all of these tools so I won't go into all the little details but I hope this was helpful if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of um, conducting SEMrush market research or using the Market Explorer tool, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence.
This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.